<laughs> Hello once again, everyone, and welcome to Cruznik Sanctuary. This is actually, I think, the first Shadowbringers episode that I've done, uh... I mean, not Shadowbringers, the first Stormblood episode that I've done with the Cruznik Sanctuary, uh, name. So, yeah, um... Just making a note of it. I don't know. Um, I'm your host, Kruznik X. Alongside me, the beautiful Arya Stormborn. Aww. How much do I owe you for saying that? I don't know. I'll think of something. Yeah. Anyways. You know, I should be scared when he says that. <laughs> Anyways, um, so... Arya recently finished the uh, main scenario for Stormblood, so I figured I'd drag her into this place because I had to do it in... I had to do it for my stream anyway. Um, so we're skipping a little bit, and this episode... Luckily, these episodes get organized automatically in... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, in post when I throw them, when I export them into YouTube. So it's not going to be too much of a big deal to do this. Um, especially upon how it works. But we are going to be doing, unlocking a new feature tonight that was unlocked um, in Stormblood around 2.3, if I remember right. 2.25. Um, so we are going to be unlocking Eureka. And I'm here on Tar. Eureka's Castle. Please don't. I love that show. So, let's uh, get right to it. And talk to Galena. And start the level 70 quest, and we shall call it Eureka. Tall Cabot of the Sun Ion of the Seven Dawn, if I'm not mistaken. Very good. I've got I've a message from uh, you from Aunt Rowena. Well, it's more of a request, I suppose, though I don't have any details of consequence. She'd like you to assist with the exploration of a, le a recently discovered island. Surely you'd be interested in that sort of thing, being an adventurer. If you are, you should head to Kugane and see Kotokaze. The proprietors of the Shiokaze hostelry. It's a long way to go, I know, but the island's out that way anyway, so... Alright, off to Gugane. All right, so Shiokaze. There's Kotokaze. I see you decided to accept the invitation of the House of Splendors. Rowena will be pleased. Come, I will show you to your table. It's good to see a familiar face in these parts, particularly that of the man who might, it, might well be my most valued customer. Mm-hmm. I gather you were not expecting Kryal or myself to be attending this little tete-a-tete. -tete. 
As you will see, however, this is a matter which concerns us all. It all began when a vessel of the East Aldenot Trading Company happened upon an island in the Glass Ocean. A deserted island which was not recorded on our charts and, quite frankly, had no business being there. Suffice it to say, we were surprised. Pleasantly so, in fact. An unclaimed, undeveloped island in such a location would be a boon to our trading concerns in this corner of the world. Kaganid's bleeding us both dry with its tariffs. Depending on the goods, we're paying more than ten times what we'd owe in Limsar or Ulda, which is already too damn much, believe you me. <laughs> what my dear Rowena is trying to say is that having an additional port of call in this region, one more amenable to free trade, would be in the best interests of a great many parties. Which is why, upon learning of this island, I immediately authorized an exploratory expedition. The team was large and well funded. I spent no I spent no expense. Alas, only a handful returned. The survivors reported irregularities with the island's ether, which we believe gave rise to a number of strange and monstrous beasts. Beasts would set upon them not long after they arrived. This regrettable turn of events forced us to reevaluate our assessment of the island and put our plans on hold for a time. If development was to proceed, it would require a great deal more capital than originally anticipated. So he came to me in mind for a handout, and I obliged. But before you scoff, know that some of my regular customers were members of that feared expedition, and what they told me was enough to justify the expense. Tales of treasure, of untold wealth and riches, and gods know what else. Aye, we'll have to wade through all them, be all them beasties, but with great risk comes great reward, as they say. Spoken like a born entrepreneur. Your ambition and ruthlessness are admirable, my lady. I dare say I could learn to stand to learn a thing or two from you. In any event, having formed our partnership, we wish to dispatch a second joint expeditionary force to the island. That said, if we were to send just anyone, their fate is like to be the same as that of the first. So this time we've a mind to send a dab hand, a veteran of a thousand thousand battles, a tried and true killer. You see where I'm going with this? I can't not see where you're going with this. <clears throat> While I lack your aptitude for Warcraft, I will also be I will be joining the expedition as a researcher. The Scions have an interest in this island. How perceptive of you. You are right. This is not the sort of affair that would normally concern us. However, after speaking with the others, they have consented to my participation on account of my personal interest. You will forgive me if I say no more at this time. If my suspicions prove true, then I will tell you everything. I promise. Right then, I believe that covers everything. The company ship that will deliver you to the island is waiting to receive you. You may proceed to the pier when you are whenever you are ready to depart. Oh, and so you're not surprised. You'll have company. A craftsman whose help I reckon we ought to have. He should be at the pier already. Rowena and I still have a few things to discuss, so why don't you go on ahead? I'll catch up with you later. All right, we're off to pier number one. Um.
and look who it is. None other than Geralt. That's not who I thought it'd be. <laughs> and no matter how many times you say it, you whiny little shite, I ain't about to let a bloody stranger waltz up and deign to tell me which way my bread is buttered. Now piss off! Does your Aeosian stubbornness know no end? I have urgent business on that island, and I demand you take me there at once! I could hear the shouting half a mile away. Geralt, what is all the fuss about? <sighs> oh, Miss Cryle. Sorry about that. It's this here bastard what's causing trouble. Ejika! What are you doing here? Did you really think I wouldn't find out about your letter? The nerve of you trying to get a head start on your own. Well, sorry to spoil your plans. Don't be difficult. I had every intention of requesting your assistance if and when I confirmed my hypothesis was correct. Forgive me, you must be completely at a loss. This gentleman on the right is... Wait, you already know each other, do you not? Well, as you may have guessed, Geralt will be lending his considerable expertise to our expedition. And on the left we have... Ejiga Sunjika of the Students of Baldessian. And you must be the so-called Warrior of Light. Charmed, I'm sure. I'll thank you not to get underfoot. So-called... Never have I wanted to punt a baby across the map. Lucky for you, he's not a baby. I'll still punt him. That's we will, why you we can will, punt him. I will play kick the baby right now and punt him across the to the other side of Kugane. I know football season just ended, but... Manners, Ejika. If you intend to accompany us on this expedition... Of course I do! If you think I'm about to let a by-the-book traditionalist like you conduct an independent investigation, you've got another think coming. <laughs> I should be glad to welcome the assistance of a preeminent scholar such as yourself. Now, if you would be so kind as to stop badgering poor Geralt and board the ship, we can get underway. Ejika is one of the few surviving students of Baldessian. While his expertise in etherology is impressive by any measure, alas, so is his ego. But enough about him. We have an island to explore. If you've no matters left to attend to, speak with Rodney. He'll show you aboard. <laughs> Hmm. It occurs to me that no one bothered to tell you the name of the island we mean to explore, am I correct? It's a bit grandiose and melodramatic, but we've tentatively named it for a pa place from a lagging legend. A forbidden land where fearsome weapons were hidden away for safekeeping. We call it Eureka. All right, so.
We've completed the quest. <laughs> Eureka and Namos, now accessible. You now have access to the forbidden land Eureka and Namos. Anemos can be explored in parties of up to eight players or solo. To embark on your journey to Anemos, speak with Rodney at Pier 1 in Kugane. Please be advised that all excursions into the Forbidden Land Eureka are item level synced. For Anemos, gear exceeding an item level of 300 will be adjusted. While exploring Anemos, you will have the opportunity to create Eureka gear and weapons. If you wish to do so, it would be prudent to acquire level 70 antiquated items in advance. Should you wish to know more about Eureka and Amos and what it has to offer, you may speak with Rodney for further details. Alright, so we've unlocked Eureka and Amos. Um, and we will take care of more of that in the next episode. But until then, that's going to be it for this episode of Kruznik Sanctuary. Thank you to Arya Stormborn for joining us. You're welcome. And thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, if you're watching this on Twitch or live with PlayStation and you like this show, click the follow button. Be sure to turn on notifications so you're well informed. And be sure to subscribe to me for access to exclusive videos and live streams. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel by clicking here. And click the bell icon for notifications. Click here to watch more by me, click here to watch the next episode, and click here to watch the previous one. Until next time, Cruz the Gex, signing out.